Oh, g'day there, folks. It's just me alone today out in the big city, the big smoke here in Bangkok. And uh, what am I doing? Well, I read uh, recently on one of uh, Richard Barrow's posts that they moved a whole, a whole bunch of new steam trains down into uh, Hulampong Station, which is where we are right now. If you're not recognised the Hulampong Station, there, a Bangkok railway station, Hulampong. There you go. Um, yeah, so I read that they had a whole bunch of steam engines down here. Now, last time we were visiting, we were coming to a, you know, a model railway exhibition, and we did have a couple of locos in the in the yard there, but uh, uh, that was like a, an addition because there was really no model railways. But hey, that's all right. This is this is Thailand. You don't worry about things, things like that. But uh, uh, obviously, we've got some steam trains because I saw the photos. So here we are moving into Hulampong Station. And what have we got here? Oh, they got uh, one, two, three, four, five steam engines. Okay, looks like a couple of diesel electrics as well. Um, these are all vintage, of course. Uh, they, they don't serve, well, there is a service that runs probably four or five times a year for special excursions. But uh, if you want to check out that, like uh, there's a Richard Barry, he's the guy. Uh, he watches all that sort of stuff, keeps you all in the loop. Um, I have yet to go on one of these trips, partly because of the fact that uh, lack of notice, and secondly because of the fact that uh, uh, they tend to be hot journeys, you know, not because they're steam engines, but because it's Thailand. Yeah, anyway, so just moving right along, um, what I want to do up front is to say, like, uh, we do not run ads on, on this YouTube stream anymore. Or YouTube videos. Why? Because I think ads suck, um, and of course that cuts down my, uh, you know, my pocket money that I get out of a YouTube system. But uh, that aside, um, we do have a Patreon, which is good for us. We have our YouTube membership, not so good for us. But uh, just think about it. Um, I've been thinking about it the last few weeks. Like, what do I do? Uh, I'm here making videos. You know, well, probably one video a week. Uh, I used to do three videos a week. Um, I just lost a little bit of motivation to do any more than that because, you know, the, the UK system with the competition of TikTok and every other video platform that's out there, what are you supposed to do, really? Um, but aside from that, you know, we do have our, you know, membership uh, and I just look at it this way. You know, if I've provided any sort of entertainment value to you for the 10 or 15 minute videos I do and you thought that was worth a cup of coffee, share me a cup of coffee. If you want them every month, buy me a coffee every buy me a coffee every month uh, there is a buy me a coffee link down there there's also the patreon there's also you know the uh, membership anyway enough of that sort of shit you know what it's all about um, i gotta get out here i gotta pay money to go and check this shit out thankfully i do like steam trains which is what we're going to talk about today you know as some of you may know i'm a bit of a you know, you know what do you call it visionary for you know the you know path of the human society is on its way down uh, the inevitable doom of society, uh, dystopian uh, outcomes. But that's when you think about it, you know, well, I like dystopian movies. You know, it looks at the other side of, you know, well, when things go wrong. Things are going wrong now, but they're, you know, manageable. Um, but, uh, but steam trains, think about it. Uh, this is what made the, the, the Industrial Revolution. 95% of the people out there wouldn't even know how one worked. Well, guess what? I do. I've built them. Well, not this size, of course. This is a full-scale version, right? right. I've, I've done the five-inch gauge. This is a meter gauge, you know, on the, on the railway. Uh, one meter. So my trains were like... <laughs> that was the gauge. <laughs> a little bit smaller, but they work on exactly the same principles. Uh, it works on the... You know, you heat water. You know, you've done that on the stove. I mean, you know, a coffee cup, you know, a cup, cup of coffee. You've got to boil the water. Yes, so you put the water in the jug and put the electric in and makes the steam come out. Well, you know, if you've done your science at school, you'd know the fact that steam has a, you know, it's, it's a vapour, it it's expands. And when it expands, right, if you contain that expansion with the heat, it actually becomes a working force. And this is how a steam engine works. Okay, I keep on walking past this one. This one's a fake. Well, when I, when I say a fake, well, it's, it's all steel, but it's not finished. I think they're in the process of reconditioning this one. Uh, nice big set of four. So it's a, it's a 280 with a tender. There you go. 
Um, these are the ones that are regularly seeing service. I was actually quite surprised that they only run up to about 200 psi. God, our model 5 inch gauge runs were running at 180 psi. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so what you do, the way it works is you've got a little thing here. This is where the fire is. You open that gate there and you put something that burns in there. Coal, wood, whatever. Um, Doc Ox, you know, you know Doc, what's he, what from Back to the Future? He has special logs to make him go really fast. But yeah, so you've got all your gauges and dials to regulate the pressure to different areas of the thing. You've got injectors, uh, you've got your, you know, your boiler valve, boiler uh, levels, you've got your uh, pressure uh, diverters, you've even got things that change the cranking and the, the motion of the way the piston goes up and down. So what happens is you heat water in this tank here, right? Right. it heats up to 200 psi and then there's pipes that come from here via the, the, the handles that go down into these two big well there's a big one here it's a piston right we all know pistons from cars this is a piston from a steam engine and so the steam goes in one side there and pushes a valve up to there which then of course makes that rod pull that rod onto these wheels and it actually makes the wheel go around of course you've got two pistons some engines in you know in the uh, uh, mid uh, 19th century actually had three pistons on them like the schools class that ran from uh, London to Brighton but uh, uh, that's where the work comes from the thing is about that doesn't need electricity right when the dystopian society collapses right what's going to happen anybody who knows how to make one of these things work guess what I'm the guy um, I built them. Yeah, of course, there's a few other people around that's done them as well. I don't think anybody under the age of 40 has built a steam engine. Maybe a few people. You know. But anyway, uh, aside from that, well, we get a look at the fact that uh, this is this is their collection. I think it looks wonderful, uh, well maintained. Uh, this again is a fake. Uh, they're in the process of, uh, I think, fitting it, or they've just painted it. Maybe it will never run. Um, a lot of inspection work goes into making these boilers work. Uh, this one here's got a full kit. That's another tank locomotive. But again, still only running 200 psi. I think the 38 class in Australia uh, was running 380 psi. Um, mind you, it was, a, it was an express engine. Uh, uh, this is a nice serviceable engine. Again, similar set of setup, two pistons. Try and look a bit closer. Looks like there's a third piston in there. Okay, that's a three cylinder. Didn't even know that. How they managed to fit three cylinders on a one, or one, one meter gauge must have been a bit of engineering back in the time. But yeah, I think this is one that actually sees regular service, but again, you know, two at a PSI. But uh, yeah, they are just absolutely magnificent engines. They, um, they do, you know, they brought us to where we are today. You know, uh, your electric vehicles there, well they all work on the same principle, heating steam up, right, you know, you don't get steam in your car of course, they heat the steam up at a big you know, coal factory where they burn coal, make electricity and put it through the wires and get it to your car, but it's still, you know, power derived from steam. Uh, we haven't actually moved far from that, they're trying to do fusion power and fission power and other different types of powers, yes we have nuclear engines, not mainstream, but for the general public, Steam is where it still is, you know, after 300 years. There you go. Of course, the thing that surprises me is like we've got Thailand the size it is, and we've got a railway network the size it is. Uh, I was trying to think of why aren't there more steam engines? Right? Like Australia's only got 27 million people. Um, but just the, the, the Thiermere Railway uh, Yard your museum thing down there south of Camden, right? There's like there's 150 locomotives there, well maybe not 150, maybe closer to 60 or 70, I like to exaggerate, you know, um, but uh, most of them are in working condition. Well, again, most of them, I say probably at least a dozen, they're actually steamable, uh, and that's just one depot. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is Thailand. Stop. Yeah, trying to fit in around the... Uh, the, the, the loudspeakers can be a bit of fun, but yeah. So I was thinking about it. Like this is Thailand. Why? Why, why don't we see more steam engines? Um, and it just dawned on me. It's Thailand, and everything gets reused. So I'm pretty sure that all the steam engines that were around 
they got stripped down and became other things, you know what I mean? Uh, not like Australia, where it costs too much to actually strip them down for the steel that's inside them. Uh, you know what it's like, cost of labour. Cost of labour here is a lot less, so when you're getting half a dozen youngsters to undo bolts is probably a profitable thing for, you know, recycling old steam engines. But uh, um, that's only my thought processes. And I said, that's really what we do here in this channel. You know, I'm just out and about every so often, and of course we're going to do more of the out and about stuff uh, as the time progresses, once things you know, start to we see a light at the end of the tunnel with the things that are going on at home. Um, and like today, I'm only just here, I've got the coffee in the, the come up for coffee in the morning, uh, caught up with the guys from a Jerry's meetup, uh, and here we are, actually I don't need to go back in here. And yes, yeah, so we've got uh, a mine meetup that's uh, running once a month now on the first Friday of the month. Uh, you're always welcome to plug into that if you're in the country. I know we've got a couple of people uh, arriving today who've just flown in. Uh, always happy to sort of come and hang out with you guys and have a few drinks and you know, tell you about the life in Thailand stuff. And that's really what we do. It's, uh, it's just what, that's my job now, you know. I'm just a guy on the ground, can probably help you with a few little things. You know. I don't know, like I'm no expert in them, but I've managed to stay here for pretty close to eight years without too many dramas. Um, so it always hit me up, you know. Uh, we do have a Discord channel as well. That's where most of the gang came because, like, Thailand's a big place and the Farangs, they want to chat and talk and discuss everything. Uh, well, we're not next door to each other, so, you know, Discord, it's a great community system that where you can get together, have a chat, share information, share pictures, share videos, even live stream, the whole thing, you know, you can do anything you want. You're pretty much, the sky's the limit. So, check out the Discord channel, link's down below. Anyway, um, I'm getting back into the cool. What time is it now? Well, it's just gone three o'clock, so I'm going to make my way back to uh, Sukhumvit. Back is killing it, maybe I'll get a back massage, I don't know. A back and feet. My, this is old age, you know. Old age is one of the things that just really is something you have to deal with. Um, me? I don't deal with it well. <laughs> I just would like to replace this body at some stage. Anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, I don't think we've got any video coming up tonight, uh, but we've got things happening. Things are starting us to see the light at the end of the tunnel, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, of course, hit that thumbs up, and ask questions. Ask, ask questions. I'm only too happy to still answer questions even on, you, on, on the YouTube thing. Don't try to have a conversation because it's not a social media platform, but you know what I mean. Anyway, attention, I'm out of here. Please, attention, attention, please. please. We're out of here. Shoot a lift me up so high